Matthew chapter 28. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear ye not. For I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here. He is risen. As he said, come see the place where the Lord lay. Go quickly and tell the disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, though I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, all hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Then said Jesus unto them, be not afraid. Go tell your brethren that they go into Galilee and there shall they see me. Amen. I'm going to stop there. Wow. You know, that's why a lot of times we go through life. Mm, that'll make anybody hope and believe, won't it? We go through life. Some of us live our lives in the past. Some of us live as if we were dead. And some of us do what the ladies do. They seek the living among the dead. And we put our hope in hopeless things. And we refuse to hope in the one true hope, our resurrection in our life, Jesus Christ. Because we have been disappointed so much in life. We have been let down. We have been so discouraged. Our hope has been shattered in pieces. Our dreams have been dashed. Promises have been broken. We have been so disappointed. We have even failed ourselves. And we begin to get negative in our lives. And we begin to get skeptical. And we become very sarcastic and cynical. And, and even bitter at times. But we have to remember, Jesus is the resurrection and the life. We have to remember that no hope is lost when we've been found by Jesus Christ. With God, all things are possible now. I don't care how many wounds and emotional scars you have. I don't care how many losses you have suffered in this life. I don't care how many failures you're guilty of. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. What you could not do in your 20s, you might end up doing in your 40s. What you could not do in your 40s, you might end up accomplishing in your 60s. Whatever the case may be, I remember Rashad and I were talking about a woman who was in her 60s getting a GED. I've heard of women and men in their 70s getting their doctorate. It's never too late. What God has for you is for you. I know a couple who were 88 years old, both of them, were six, were, I think they were both six feet tall. They were both in excellent shape both born again Christians, 88 years old, getting married. Mm, can you imagine? It's never too late for you. God knows what you need. God knows why he brought you into this world. And each one of us has a purpose. So don't think that because she left you, 
or he left you. Don't think that because one of your children died. Don't think that because your, your hopes and dreams were dashed because of a lie. Your hopes and dreams were dashed because of money problems and there is no more hope. No, that's a lie. There's always hope. There's always hope. That's why the Bible says, acknowledge him in all your ways. See, you're not to lean unto your own understanding, but you are to acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will direct your path. And in Psalms 32, it says, I will lead you and guide you in the way you should go. God is our guide. He will lead us. He is our shepherd. He's the good shepherd. He will not let us grope in our lives through the darkness. He will shed his light in our darkness. You have a hope in Jesus Christ. You have a hope. If you didn't have a mother, if you didn't have a father, if you didn't have someone that loved you, if you didn't have anybody, if you didn't have anything, if you didn't have anywhere to run, anywhere to hide, if you didn't have a shelter, if you didn't have anything in your life that meant anything, anything that could give you hope, if you didn't have encouragement, if you didn't have any anybody there to back you when your back was up against the corner, if you didn't have a defense, if you didn't have anybody to rescue you, you have a hope in Jesus Christ. He is everything. He is all that and a bag of chips. He's everything you need. He's everything you want. He's everything your soul desires. He's all that you need. When you have no one to fall on, he's there. Mm, mm, mm. Don't ever think that it's over for you. Don't ever settle for your lot in life. Mm -mm. Some of you are married to people that don't believe in you. Some of you never had parents to encourage you. Some of you have never heard your mother or father say, I love you, or put their arms around you and hold you like they really wanted you. Some of you have been tossed like trash. You've been tossed aside by your parents. You've been tossed aside by your lovers. You've been tossed aside by your so-called friends and left as dead. But God is the resurrection of the dead, baby. God will come and scoop you up. He will hold you up in his arms. Yes, he will. He did it for me. He did it for a lot of us that still walk with him. Some give up before they get to experience that. As Juanita was saying, the difficult part is in the waiting. And they had to wait through the dying. They had to wait through the burial. They had to wait all that time through the darkness of heavy sobbing and mourning. But when Jesus rose from the dead, he showed everyone it's not over. Every goodbye ain't gone, y'all. No. Mm. And every shut eye ain't dead. So don't think that because the curtain is down. Don't think that because they walk through that door and they'll never return that it's over for you. No, no, it's not over for you. Not when you have Jesus Christ. It's only just begun. We've only just begun to live. You've only just begun, baby. When you get in Christ, that's a new beginning. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You're becoming new day by day. 
You're being renewed by the washing of the word. You're being renewed by the power of the Holy Ghost. You're being renewed, revived, resurrected, healed, made whole. You're being renewed. Mm. Have hope in Christ. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus now. Remember in whom your life belongs. Remember where your hope is. When my mother and father forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. You have no need to fear. You have no need to lose hope. I don't care how long they've, they've left you. I don't care who they left you for. You have a hope. That love that you always sought for in women, that love you always looked for in men, that love you always looked for in all the wrong places. That love, that's that itch that only God can scratch. That love is God's. That is your resurrection. The love of Christ. Be encouraged. I want you to totally be encouraged. Because this is the day of new beginning. Rejoice about the miles you have covered. Appreciate the mountains you have climbed. Thank God for every ounce of experience. Even thank him for the times that you've been tried. Oh, this is the day of new beginning. This is your year of jubilee. Come in Christ today. Let the old things pass away. Let all things in your life become new. This is your day of new beginning. Won't you take hold of him today? Won't you give him the time the chance, the opportunity to prove himself to you, to be the God that he is, to be the Lord and Savior, to be your good shepherd, to be the father to the fatherless, the mother to the motherless. Oh, let him be all that you need him to be today. God bless you as you give your life to Christ so he can give you a new life to live.